Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working in West Chase, Florida. We're here for a small little job. We're gonna be doing a, be doing a front patio and as well as a little sidewalk cleaning. A small job, so small jobs like this here, it just falls under my minimum rate for me to come out um, just to make it worthwhile. You know, I won't come out to, you know, just small jobs and just be charging low ticket. Everything is too expensive for that, so. Everything that's small that I, I can't put into uh, square footage or uh, even, you know, hourly rate. You know, if it's something small, I just put it under my base minimum price for me to come out. If you guys see in the background, I got the truck back. She's back and running well. Uh, shout out to my boy Jason. Like I said before, uh, sent me to a good mechanic, changed mechanics, and man, that thing was ready to go within a couple days, man. So I wish I had made that decision way earlier, but you know, you live and learn. So, uh, you know, everything is working good. I make sure I start all the machines up, uh, make sure everything, you know, stays running well, cause it hadn't been started for a month, you know, a month and a half almost. So, um, but everything running well. Like I said, we got a small job here. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the job. Oh, before I start, man, look at my shorts. Look at the shorts, man. Yeah, yeah, you see me rocking the pink flamingo shorts. My boy Chris Cook got me those, man. He's always on the lookout for me. Anytime he see anything pink flamingo. <laughs> Let me show you guys the other job. So this is just the front patio we're doing. Like I said, very, very small. This is a little bit of algae growing up right here on these pavers. Same thing for the front door area. And then uh, we're gonna be cleaning the front sidewalk. That's what she was asking me to clean up. She doesn't want the driveway. We'll see how I feel. I might throw in the sidewalk in front of the house. I won't be doing the driveway for free. <laughs> I'll do the sidewalks. Might throw that in. I'm just gonna add a, I'm using my software system. I'm gonna put a 5% mix down. And then I'm just gonna rinse it off with the with the gun. No need to bust out the surface cleaner for something this small. So pretty straightforward. I hadn't charged my software system <laughs> in a month, over a month. So she's running kind of weak today. I just got the truck back, so I hadn't had time to. Uh, charge it up I think I'm gonna wire maybe a little uh, solo panel to uh, charge the battery up for me so I don't have to worry about you know plugging it in I do have one of those inverters that you charge in your house and then you can just plug it up to the battery I got one of those at the house I haven't used it yet though I did get some fresh SH because the other SH was sitting in the sun. Pretty sure it would have worked, but you know, I just want to go ahead and add it some on top of it. I only had maybe a, a few gallons, maybe maybe 10 gallons in there. Put some of that sticky, icky pine in there as well for my surfactant this customer here reached out to me through uh facebook yesterday matter of fact and you know this would be a perfect time to bring the rig out for a test run so far it's been running pretty well uh no complaints at all Hope it stays that way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let that sit and dwell for a little bit before I give it a rinse. See you guys. I'm walking in the, I'm walking in the uh, concrete. You gotta be careful when you got a hot mix down five percent and up to not walk in the sh. 
and walk in the grass. <laughs> You're gonna have footprints everywhere. You guys can see everything that was here is already gone away. Yeah, you don't wanna walk in the SH and then walk in the grass. Try to stay off the grass until you rinse it. All right, let me grab my gun. We're gonna rinse everything up. And if you guys don't believe me, you can see over here it's dirty. Look, I walk in the SH. Look at my footprints. You see, I cleaned the area I stepped in. Imagine if I step on the grass. <laughs> Like that she's done guys nice quick and easy 10 minutes this is what we're looking like now put a little post treatment on there just to clean them up a little bit more that's not gonna come up from pressure washing whatever pot that was here that rusted us these pavers no rust removal this is the walkway here My footprints was all over here, so I just sprayed a little post treatment right here, <laughs> so it don't look crazy. Sidewalks, you can see the big difference between mine and theirs. Like I say, I just did that as a token of appreciation for the customer. And this is where we stopped at here. All right, we got one more on the schedule. Uh, Everything's going well. See you guys when I get there. Okay, you guys, we at the second job for the day. Final one. Customer had me come late today. Uh, it's five o'clock right now. We got a house wash and a pool deck to do. So let's go check it out. Show you guys the back of the house. He was concerned about getting the windows cleaned. I don't do window cleaning per se, um, but I clean the algae that's on them. <laughs> no squeegees for me. He was like, do you have a squeegee in your truck that I can use to squeegee it myself? No, sir, I don't. So uh, this is the pool deck here. Not really too bad, the cage is good already. So you just got a little bit of dirt right here and weeds going through the drainage system. We're gonna clean those up. Um, clean this bar area up right here. See, so you got some cleaning people in there. The house is going up for sale. So, we're trying to make this thing look good. Not too much going on here. A little bit of dirt on the windows. Probably gonna have to hit these ones on both sides. I don't see too much going on. Check out this countertop just to make sure no, there's no marks on it. Do not want to be responsible for anything. Looks good right there. I'm gonna rinse the countertop for him. He asked me to do that. So see stuff like this here. Not sure what that is. Like someone was sitting there for a while. You get this on camera, just in case. We will be downstreaming everything with our downstream injector. We will be using the 12 today. The eight needs some uh, maintenance. We'll get that situated. Not sure what this is. It's already broken. See simple stuff like this you just have to make note of in your walk around video or take pictures of it. 
just to be safe. The house is not really that bad at all, to tell you the truth. I don't really see too much algae. Pretty much gonna be a basic, basic wash. Downstream and rinse. We don't even have mud daubers, man, that's crazy. They don't want the driveway down. The driveway is definitely dirty. Definitely could use some uh, some surface cleaning. Got the truck ready to go. We will be using the Flow Pro today. Got the Flow Pro going. Uh, let's see that remote. So start off on uh, rinse mode. Small. I haven't locked this down yet. This thing sucks, man, because this big box is so hard to hold it up and bolt. There's four bolts on the rail. It's so hard to get your hand in there to put the bolts on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna move this to this spot here. I just want my whip line to it, to whichever machine I wanna use. Cause I am not dropping that box again. No way, no how, or will. <laughs> All right, so I got it on rinse mode. I'm wet down. These plants has been kind of hot just to make sure they're not affected. And then we'll proceed with the house wash. I tell you what, this 12 put out so much water, man. It's crazy. This is my soap tip. <laughs> so we're gonna wash this house in half. I'm gonna wash the, this side right here. Half of the back, actually the whole back. I'm gonna downstream the pool deck and then follow it up um, with a rinse coming from in there, coming back this way and watch, uh, watch the other two sides of the house, the front and the left side. has been done now we can go on rinse mode 
and um, rinse this deck off. We don't need the surface cleaner for this. So it's gonna be nice and quick. Rinse the back of this house and uh, move on to the front pretty straightforward. Let's go. So we got the back deck, the back, back wall, the right side clean. We want to clean the garage, the front, and the left side. It's good to do this, especially if you're in a hot area like Florida. So the SA doesn't streak the windows or dry on the wall. So it's best to do this, split it in half, slow down, and get it done the right way. So now I'm going to start soaping up the garage, going around the other way. The front side and the um, left side is all rinsed up. She's almost ready to rinse. I mean, sorry, all soaked up. All right, so now we got the garage all the way to the, this side of the house all soaked up. Now we can go back and uh, start rinsing. Um, so you guys, what time we're working with. If you can see it, you probably can see it on my phone. It's 5.54. I started a little bit after five o'clock, like maybe 10 minutes after five. And the deck is already clean and the house is um, almost washed. So now we're gonna rinse coming from here going back to the truck. we all finished so right now it's 6 20 so it took an hour and 15 minutes to wash the house and clean the pool deck uh, let's go do a recap so uh, you know we didn't have a lot of algae but some of the windows were dirty I'll show you guys what it looked like now like I said we're not doing a window service we're just cleaning the windows from algae and stuff like that oh he already locked the house down but you guys can see the pool deck take you guys around the other way so i'll show you guys the pool deck how it looks customer was in there watching me he's like what's with the camera i said i got a youtube channel and uh you know record my stuff got a lot of people watching he's like man that stuff looks so good the deck looks so good He's like, I can see why they watch. It's very satisfying. The screen to be clean. The screen is dirty, but they didn't want that this time. I mean, look at this deck, y'all. Nice and clean. 
These windows are nice and clean as well. Walk around, make sure I didn't leave nothing. But I tell you what, that 12 GPM drank some water. Right when I was about to wrap up, it started running out of water, but I was able to finish it up before this rain comes. All right, you guys, I appreciate y'all's support. Thank you for everybody that's been checking up on me about the rig. Um, some people even sent me a little something on uh, you know, my uh, Cash App and uh, Venmo and stuff like that. I appreciate y'all for the support. Uh, I, I didn't really have to do that, you know? You know just like some people asked me to do a, a GoFundMe. I never did it. And I'm glad I didn't do it because it ended up costing me less to fix the vehicle, you know, than what the first guy told me anyway. So I didn't want to take advantage of nobody's money. So I appreciate all y'all support. Everybody that checked up on me. Um, you know, a lot of people, man, it's crazy. A lot of people offered me to borrow their like trailers and stuff like that to get work done. Just to go show you that, you know what I'm saying? Like we're not, in, there's not a lot of competition out here, man. We're all in this together. So, you know, I appreciate all y'all support, man. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I put a new video up. Till next time, guys. Peace.